I'm gonna go back to the main title screen here and um, yeah, I just wanna finish up this broadcast with some of these awesome tracks that um, are featured in this in this game, in these games. So, we got some tunes from uh, Shovel of Hope, uh, Plague of Shadows, uh, Spectre of Torment, and King of Cards. And, um, oops. And, so here's the main theme. Now, I really just want to point out a few of these because they're just really beautiful. Um, now, the Pastoral. This is from the initial village that you walk into. Really fun. Everyone's good natured, wanting to help you in the Pastoral. But one that I really love is um, this one. This is from the Armor Village. Bucklers and Bonnets. It's a very cool tune. And if you checked out my Twitter, I, I set a fun little video with um, little Plague Boy dancing to this music. It's a really beautiful track. Very cool. Yeah, deep beat. Now, most of the music in these games was by Jake Kaufman, a fantastic composer here in Los Angeles. Um, but also... Some of them were by another composer, a Mega Man composer named Manami Matsumai. So let me just find her track here. I think it's... It's this one. Right? Flowers of Antimony. Yeah, this. So this is the uh, Plague Knights um, layer cool kind of unsettling tune here. I really like this song. It's pretty cool. And then what's cool is like when you fight the boss, and this is often like this with these melodies, the same music is sort of used, but it's kind of sped up and more frightening when you fight the boss. Similar theme here. This is when you're fighting the... Plague Knight. Very intense. This game has a very wide range of music. Like, really astonishing. Like, really cool. Freaking me out listening to this. It makes me just feel anxious. <laughs> very cool. Okay, cool. Um, there are some more. I don't think I ever did this. There's a few little things that I did not do in Shovel of Hope I missed. But we will not be covering that today. Okay, let's go to Plague Knight. Now, he also has some great tunes in his uh, adventure, such as Art Through Adversity. Very cool. Now, if you watched uh, this playthrough of Lake of Shadows, there's a very special little moment where you kind of run into Mona dancing by herself, and she's dancing to this music. It's an absolutely beautiful tune. Waltz for one. Yes, we're running a <laughs> Shovel Knight radio station today. <laughs> Here at the very end of this long adventure. I love this music. So beautiful. And here she's kind of waltzing by herself, wishing she had someone to waltz with. And of course, later on, she finds a partner to waltz with in Plague Night. It's very beautiful music. Um, we got Buckles and Bonnets again. It's a great tune. Um, and there's a very cool battling the burrow here, here. I love this too. This is when you fight Sh uh, Shovel Knight as Plague Knight. Very tense music. It's 
super upbeat. Ugh. Crazy. <laughs> like the intensity just ratchets up immensely in some of these fights, and the music really does a lot to bring that about. Amazing. Wow. Um, and then, uh, I love this tune. At the end, the final note, which is kind of where Mona and Plague Knight eventually dance at the very end of the game. It's a very beautiful moment as well. Another waltz, I believe. This music's from the ending screen. It's very nice. <laughs> ah, man, listening to this music just really brings back a lot of wonderful memories of these adventures we've been going through here. Especially this one, the final note. And these are some of my final notes about these games. For the beautiful music. Oh, so tasty. Ugh. Full of emotion. Really amazing music. Um, okay, let's listen to some of Spectre Knight stuff. Um, let's see here. The Struggle Never Ends is awesome. So this is from Horus's Tower. This is very cool. Horus's Tower is like a sort of a speed challenge. For Spectre Knight. What's cool about this track is that uh, it's a mixed meter. And it kind of changes meter in the middle. And I think that kind of contributes to some of the <laughs> uh, uns unsettled feeling as you try to scale that tower as quickly as you can. It's kind of like 5-8 and then something else and then 6-8 and then 5-8 again right here. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, these are musical terms that have to do with meter. Still a sick melody. Gets you really amped. Very cool. Um, the Decadent Dandy. Um, now let me look for there's a particular one. Uh, where is it? It's not the Decadent Dandy. Hold on. The Halls of the King. This is a very special tune. It's very regal and upbeat. That's kind of like if King Knight <laughs> were like playing a soundtrack to his own life. It would be like this. Yeah. Everybody loves me. <laughs> I'll bow before the king. Now, of course, this is Inspector Knight's game, but you do travel to Pride More Keep, and this is the music there. Very cool. I love this tune. If you're doing some work that allows you to listen to music, <laughs> this is a good track to listen to. Look at you fired up. And then there's one more, and I think it's... Uh, that I really like. Hang on. Facing the task. This is a cool um, track from some of the flashback moments. So Spectre Knight is actually like a kind of mysterious character. He has a battling and um, kind of treasure hunting background. And when he goes into his memories, this is some of the music that you hear. It's kind of cool. And those are some very cool sequences that you end up going through in his past. Kind of trains you a little bit. And some of his moveset kind of reveals a lot of his past. I really like this track. Um, also another very cool moment. And... 
What else do we have here? Um, oh, one really good one is keep two eyes open. Where is that? Hang on. Both eyes open. Yeah, I love this track. What? 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 <laughs> this is a fun little track. So when Spectre Knight finds his little uh, <laughs> hideout in the Lich Yard, um, there is a giant skeleton golem guarding it for him. And this is the music that plays while you're exploring that little Easter egg of a moment. Another fantastic little waltz here. Full of emotion. I don't know if uh, Jake Kaufman loves waltzes, but I think his waltzes are some of the best music in these games. And, uh, yeah, really spectacular. All right, cool. Now, let me just... Oh, yeah, another waltz. Good. And uh, while this song that I just put on, this is still from Spectre Knight, this is when you rescue all the Red Skulls and find the Red Skull man's uh, lost wife. <laughs> it's a beautiful little tune. Okay. Then, lastly, I should say, we have King Knight's music here. Now, I'm not totally as familiar with his music, just because there wasn't a uh, Spotify playlist of his songs. But, I do know uh, yeah, this is nice. This is very chill. Overlook interlude. Yeah, it's nice. Nice chill beat. Huh. I'm not sure what this is from. This is from one of the towns you go to. As King Knight. Visiting mom. So King Knight's mom makes him pies. <laughs> Like a good pie boy, he goes home and eats those pies. And those give him more health and more magic. Ah, uh, a wholesome little track. Thank you. Thank you, Mom, for the pies. Really appreciate those on this long adventure. <laughs> okay, then... Magma Zerka in Minor. I don't know what this is. Uh, this is from one of the card uh, match tracks for Joustus. A good track. Um, there is a funny little the buzz in the grotto. Maybe it's this. The Fairy Glade. So there's a very special area here that you can only find as a secret. And it's the Fairy Glade. And it's very mysterious and, and beautiful. Ah. Now this had one of the most beautiful background um, landscapes in all of these games. This area. And it was really fun because you find all these little fairies that... <laughs> Um, are in the form of many of the different characters throughout these games. And uh, you just kind of wander around the glade, capturing fairies and looking at what uh, they do. They all have their own unique descriptions from the fairy goddess who's there as well. And then at the end, and when you choose your fairy, this song plays. The fairy king, fairy king, the fairy king, oh, hail the fairy king. Because you are declared the fairy king <laughs> at the very end of that area. Cool. This was super fun. I don't know what this one is. Let's see it. Etude of the Lord. <laughs> Uh, 
God, I love King Knight. Such a freaking amazing character. So funny. So pompous. And he betrays everybody at the end for his own glory. Wow. He's actually perhaps the one true villain in this game because he actually only... only cares about himself. Doesn't care about his mom. Doesn't care about any of the people he rescued. Doesn't care about the kingdom. He only cares about being king and doesn't really care what it means to be king. Which is perfectly fine for him, I think. Amazing. Cool. 